The NASCAR Cup Series short track package has me feeling pretty sad at this point, so head to therapy with me real quick. Thank you for coming in today. I know therapy has a stigma about it, but it's great to talk about your feelings and how you want to try to change the way you feel about things or accept some of the things that are happening in your life. Now, I looked at some of the pre-meeting notes and I saw that you mentioned that the current NASCAR short track package has you feeling sad and we don't want that. So can you tell me in your words why it's making you feel sad? It just makes me feel sad. Just sadness, doc. You know that song that Lana Del Rey song summertime sadness i've been listening to that a lot lately when i've been watching short track races but instead of summertime i just replace it with short track sadness and i walk around my house just singing short track sadness over and over again to me and honestly every time there's a short track race i get bummed out and i haven't been this bummed out since bobby bacala got blasted away in that train store it's just sad at this point Oh, wow, it does sound like you have a bit of trauma in your life, and we're probably gonna need to schedule a few more sessions, so go ahead and book that out for the next six months, twice a week for me, because it sounds like your friend Bobby there. We might need to dive into, brother-in-law, sorry, brother-in-law, Bobby. We might need to dive into that there, but can you tell me what exactly makes you feel sad about it? Track position's just king at this point. And short tracks, they shouldn't be track position dependent. They used to be great. Now all these new fans, they don't know how great the short tracks used to be. I mean, this weekend, we had Austin Dillon. You couldn't even put him two laps down. He's the AJ of NASCAR. You just, it's unacceptable that you couldn't put him two laps down. And then you have shifting, tires that don't wear, or they do wear too much, but there's just no fall off. You shouldn't be able to run 175 laps on left side tires and not really have any sort of fall off because of it. Like I said, it's just so air dependent now. It's a bummer. And right now, the only thing that's bringing me happiness is really just the ducks that land in my pool. So the only thing bringing you joy right now are the ducks in your pool. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? You know, ducks, the birds, the ones that fly and they land and they float in water. They're very buoyant. Yeah, they land in my pool out there. I feed them every day. Every time that they land, I go out there with some bread and then I sit there and I just watch them. They're adorable. They don't really need anything. They're accepting. They don't talk back to me. I don't have to listen to them complain about nothing. And then, and then they have those adorable beaks. They make the noises. They got the feathers, the web feet. Joey Logano would be super envious of it. And honestly, it's the only thing that's making me happy right now when there's a short track race coming up. I'm yearning for the day to go to Texas. And that, that never used to happen. I don't want to go to Texas. Nobody wanted to go to Texas. But now I have to enjoy these ducks on the weekend we have short track races because Goodyear won't make a softer tire that wears out and gives us good short track racing. And now I have to get excited about going to Texas. That's what this world's come to. Okay, I understand here. So let's start with Goodyear. We'll tackle the rest of those issues, like I said, at a later date. If you could talk to Goodyear right now, what would you say to them? Express your feelings for me. If I could sit down and have a conversation with Goodyear right now, I would say, listen, we're going to protect you. Go ahead and make the soft tire. You've got our protection. You got our word for it. We're not even going to come for the money. Make a soft tire. Make it wear out. We'll keep buying your tires. I got Goodyear Eagles on a car outside right now. It, perfect. One of the best tires I ever had. It was the OEM tire that came on the car. But I bought a second set because it was so good all season. So when it snows, I put those on perfect still. It doesn't snow that much, so it's okay. But if I was telling Goodyear, I'd be like, hey, man, or girls, make a softer tire. Make a tire that wears out. And we understand. We understand that it might not work. That's fine. That's totally fine. We're not going to blast you on the internet and be like, oh, Goodyear can't make a good enough tire. I understand it from a marketing standpoint. I get it. I get it. You don't want to build a tire that's going to break and then or wear down, blow out, cause a bunch of wrecks. And people are going to be like, oh, I would never put Goodyear tires on my street car because, look, they can't even build a race tire. No, 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 no that's not going to happen. We're going to be fine. We're going to get through this together. But it starts with Goodyear. And if they don't want to do that, then maybe, just maybe, we should look at running that wet weather tire just in the dry and let's see how it does. Also, race is coming up. We love to experiment there with the low downforce, low horsepower pack or high downforce, low horsepower package. I would love a low downforce package everywhere. Maybe we just try it there. Maybe we try it out. Run a 200 laps on these wet weather tires. Let's see what happens. Let's see how good the race is. It's an experimental race, right? Uh, we'll have to wait and see though. Okay, well, I think we've had a great session here to start. Um, I think we'll have to go listen to that Lana Del Rey Summertime Sadness song for a few more times, but I think we'll be able to get you back on the right track by the time the next generation of the NASCAR Cup Series car that you mentioned comes out. So for now, we can continue to make small strides toward that ultimate goal at the end of the line here. But as it stands right now, I think that we're probably going to have to work through this 
step by step. And when I see when I say step, I mean small steps at a time here. But we're in this together, so we're gonna work through it. Yeah, I think we probably have a lot of trauma that we're gonna have to work through here. I don't know if I'm gonna come back for the next six and a half seasons, but we might have to do this. Uh, I'm not gonna fantasize about this either, Doc. Don't worry about that whatsoever going forward because you look a lot like me and that's deeply disturbing to me. But all I want is a short track package that works. At the end of the day, we need less downforce, more horsepower, a narrower tire, or a tire that wears out. I'll take either of those at this point because right now the short track package just isn't working. We're taking small swings at it. Small swings, just like you mentioned, we're gonna have to have to work through this together, small steps at a time. I get it, I get it. We're gonna have to get through this one step at a time, but we need to take bigger steps. Instead of taking a half a step at a time, let's just jump up a flight. Let's take a big swing at it. Let's make that sprint real quick. Let's see what happens here. And if it fall, fails and we fall back down the stairs, eh, it'll hurt for a minute, but we'll get back up. We'll try it again. We'll jump up halfway next time and then try that out. But for now, I just don't think that this is working. And call me crazy, but short tracks are what made this sport what it is. So maybe we should put some emphasis on that because a sports car just isn't working on the short tracks. It was made for road courses. And ironically, ironically, with the Gen 6 car, intermediates were terrible, short tracks and road courses were great. Now with the Gen 7 car, short tracks and road courses are terrible and the intermediates are great. We flip-flopped. It's a bummer. I think about this a lot, the same way I think about Bobby a lot. What if he just didn't like trains? He'd still be here. All right, let me know in the comments what you think. Like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about the short track package and the current state of that. Follow me on TikTok, at BreakHard, Instagram, and Twitter, at BreakHardBlog.